All right, Gulf Coast independent wrestling fans. Once again, it's Friday night with the front row fanatics. Booze, bullshit, jabobulation all going on. We're talking about honest opinions of uh, wrestling promotions in the Gulf Coast area. And uh, we just finished talking about CSW and uh, Lexiandra. Who's next? Ultimate Wrestling. Ultimate Wrestling. Internet? First you and first, first, Saturday. first. Go ahead, man. Okay, I'm Ultimate Wrestling. All right, he's coasting. He's coasting and toasting. Have another drink there, Big Daddy. It'll be all right. Ultimate Wrestling. Uh, but before I get on to them, CSW wrestles uh, in the House of Hardcore, Highway 90, Mossy Head, Florida, on the fourth Saturday every month. Ultimate Wrestling, they go bi-monthly shows, first Saturday and the third Saturday of the month. First Saturday at American Legion Post 33 in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, the Santa Rosa County Auditorium in Milton, Florida, the armpit of the South. Uh, the quietest fans ever. Not quiet, it's just crappy. <laughs> yeah, crappy ass fans. Uh, Ultimate Wrestling, I would have to rate them as far as uh, the promotions that I see on a regular basis as the most professionally run indie organization on the Gulf Coast. Good lights, good sounds, uh, good ring. Uh, Great roster, yeah. uh, good food, concession is good all around. Overall, the most uh, professionally ran promotion. Uh, very entertaining, uh, though at times they lack, uh, uh, I don't want to say heart necessarily or whatever, but they lack the energy that you see, for instance, at a CSW show, you know, with the fan interaction and spontaneity <laughs> and improvisation you know, at their shows, but overall, top to bottom, talented roster, good lights, good sound, good ring announcer, ultimate wrestling is first class promotion all the way. Yeah, I feel the same way. They they set the bar high for other promotions. Um, like you said, they have one of the deepest rosters on the Gulf Coast. Uh, all those guys give 110% in the ring. Uh, if I had to give one criticism... You know, when you go, it's an event, it's a spectacle. You're going to see some of the best wrestling action anywhere. I think they need, if I had to change, say one thing about them, and this is something very minor, I wish it was there was a little more fun factor involved. And I, I've been trying to think about how to say this correctly. It's just, it, it's not that I don't have fun. We have fun when we go to Ultimate. Absolutely. You know, Argoyle, Alexandra, myself. But, uh... It's kind of cut and dried, in my opinion. And like I said, if anybody came to me and said, what's a good show to go to? Uh, we would be Ultimate Wrestling, CSW. You know, I would mention both those. Right. I'm just saying, I've, I've been watching, I'm almost, I'll be 40 years old in a couple of months. And I've been watching wrestling probably over 30 years. I just, uh, I like to have fun when I go. I, you know, maybe, a good uh, mix of everything. Maybe Ultimate, I necessarily, maybe a little too professional to where they don't allow... You know, and, I'll, and you know, like I said, Ultimate is one of my favorite promotions. You look at CSW; they have a little more spontaneity, a little more improvisation to improvise or ad lib or whatever. You know, and everybody, you know, it's different from the promoter and the booker or whatever. Some bookers like it one, two, three, A, B, C. Other bookers say, "Okay, this is what I want you to do. Do it however you want." Yeah. Both ways work. Both ways can give you great, entertaining shows. But, you know, I mean... And, you know, like I said, it's not a knock against Ultimate. I mean, they get more reviews on Front Row Fanatics than anybody else for several reasons. One's because, they're, like I said, they're the premier uh, promotion on the Gulf Coast. We hold them to a high standard. You Very know, we, true. We have seen so many awesome shows there. So, like I said, I, I feel bad making any type of criticism, but, you know, if we're going to be talking about promotions, you got to say the good and the bad. That's, That's right. That's how I feel. And, you know, judging by their... They, do, they draw good numbers, so... You know, and you want I feel like our I'm rambling. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Ramble, bamble, bumble, stumble. You can do whatever you want. You know, you want our honest opinions. We are the people that you see in the front row all the time at your shows. Some people like us. Some people don't. That's fine. It's just like with whatever promotion. You're entitled to your opinion. But I'm going to tell you the way it is, you know. And if you don't like what I got to say, you can say, okay, take it with a grain of salt. Or you can say, Thank you gargoyle or whatever. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I know. I spend my money. I try and bring people to the shows, get them to spend money, and support independent wrestling. 
this is my way of getting my 50 cents worth in or whatever. If you like it, great. If you know it, you can kiss my mask wearing ass. So, all in all, though, Ultimate Wrestling, first class, well-run organization. Definitely worth your money all the time, though better in Pensacola than in the armpit of the South and Hilton, <laughs> where the fans suck over there, with the exception of us. Right. Okay, um, I love Ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, Ultimate was the first real indie promotion I went to. And they just captivated me, and I came back, you know. And um, they are held to a much higher standard than yeah. everybody else. But, I mean, seriously, if you see the product, you know that it's a better product. I'm not saying that they're better than everybody, but... Right. Um, but it just, they seem a little uptight. There you Honestly, go. Honestly, yeah, it's... Uptight. Their panties are in a wad, just a slight well, bit. <laughs> maybe... Yeah, I could kind of understand it at one point that this is a very dangerous sport. Absolutely. So they Thank have to keep it. Thank you for calling it a sport. That, well, it is a sport. I, I mean, know, if you that, actually see saying. these guys. There's some people guys, that say it's entertainment. It's a fucking no. sport. Well, it if is you, entertainment too, but it is a sport. I am entertained sport. by that sport. Well, you, you wouldn't call football entertainment, even though it is entertaining, but it's still a sport. Absolutely. These guys have to work out. There's so much athletics involved that it is a sport. Yeah. And... Not to mention the risk factor, you know. Right. So I can understand why it has to be so tight. But that doesn't mean that you can't have a little fun as well. Thank you. They just seemed a little uptight. Maybe they need to have a beer before they get in the ring. No. No. (laughs) Well, I have all the beers for them before they get in the ring. Take a chill pill. Have a beer with us after the show. There you go. Relax a little bit. Have some fun. I hear you. Sports are supposed to be fun. Lighten up a little bit. We get what you're saying, sweetie. Um, But all in all, Ultimate Wrestling rocks. They're they're the shit. Absolutely. Yes, sir. We're taking a break? Already? Already? Gosh, man, we're talking so much shit. All right, we'll take a break and be right back.